Aloha everyone. Welcome back to our six week video series. My name is Shelby and I'm collaborating with the Miss Soul Ballard, the guiding light in the world of spirituality and mindset shifting. So we've come together to make this six week series for you so that you have a bunch of different tools to put in your toolbox so that you can move through all of that fluff and actually start achieving your dreams and going for your goals. If you haven't already watched our first two videos, I've linked both of mine in the description box below and Soul has also created a parallel video to video number two as they my video and hers work together in tandem so that you can actually full force and have a lot more power behind each of the tools that we give you so that you can actually achieve your dreams and goals so if you haven't already I urge you to go back to those videos and watch them as each video builds and expands upon the one previously if you are back for weeks one and two I applaud you you are wonderful and you are really making moves towards your goals and towards your dreams by watching these videos and being given the tools that you need, the tools that have been used by both Miss Soul and me, so you know that they work, and I am so happy to have you here and have you still going and committing to yourself. So over the past few weeks, you have discovered your selfish why, you've discovered where your time, money, and emotions are being sucked and where they are not being uh, aligned with your why and you've also become very clear on understanding your own personal power, your own knowledge, and understanding your resources a bit more. So those are all really important and last week's homework was to figure out where you need to make those budget swaps with your time, money, and emotions. So now that you've discovered that and you've been using that and you've probably discovered in the past week of using and understanding that budget switch that it is a little bit difficult. So today I'm going to be giving you a tool that is going to help you to stay focused, to stay concentrated, and to stay in alignment with making these switches and changing your habits. And I know it can be really easy to decompress from a day of work by getting to-go food, sitting on the couch and watching Netflix, but you have to stay strong. The commitment and the consistency are the most important factors that are going to propel you forwards so that you can actually achieve your goals and dreams. Even when the going gets tough, you need to keep going because that's how you're going to create habits and today's tool is going to help you do that. So understand that to get what you want, you have to do something you have never done if you want something you've never had, right? Makes total perfect sense. But how do you stay strong during those times? How do you stay away from that urge to sit on the couch and watch Netflix rather than to get up and go to the gym or meal prep your meals for the next day? How do you stay strong in doing that? Today, I'm going to help you create a mantra and that is what's going to keep you strong and committed to your goals. If you don't know what a mantra is, a brief summary is that it is a set of words usually used in Buddhism and Hinduism to aid in concentration and meditation. You can also say it's a motto or a catchphrase, but the baseline is that it's a series of words meant to be repeated, even if it's in your mind or out loud, whatever feels best to you. And that is going to help to change your life. It is a tool in your toolbox along with your newfound ability to create a budget that if practiced and used you will always have access to even when your goals change or you need to realign. So practice this tool and I'm going to help you create this mantra now. So grab a piece of paper and a pen. You can pause this video if you need to do that and then we'll jump right back in. So now that you have your piece of paper and your pen, I want you to close your eyes. What does your ultimate reality look like? Who are you with? What are you doing? Visualize this. How do you feel? Happy? Blissful? carefree, playful. 
What smells do you smell? Palm trees, pine trees, salty air, spring flowers. Can you smell fresh cut grass? What do you feel? Grass on your toes, the pages of a good book, your hands on the steering wheel of your first car, sand in your toes, on your skin, in your hair. What can you taste? The taste of pool water in the summertime? Food from your favorite restaurant? A home-cooked meal? The tastes and smells and sounds of that? What can you hear? Cars driving by? Horns honking? Engines revving? Your father's laugh? A dog barking? Or the waves crashing along the shore of a beach? Think about all of these things. Now picture all of this. Open your eyes and write down what you feel. Got it? Okay. So for example, I feel blessed. I feel happy. I feel ecstatic. I feel joyful. I feel exuberant. Whatever it is that you feel, from whatever it is that, that those questions made you imagine. Okay, so now why do you feel that way? Write down why you felt that way from those series of questions I asked you. For example, I feel blessed now that I have time to spend with my family. I feel happy now that I'm able to spend time in nature. I feel ecstatic now that I'm able to go hiking with friends and I get to work outside. Whatever it is. As you can see, mine compares with my why of being able to spend time with family and friends and adventure. So that might be an easier way for you to bring this together, saying that you feel blessed and then put your why right there at the end. If that makes sense if you can word it correctly. So your homework for this week is to really hone in on that mantra and to start using it. Start using it during those times when you want to fall back into old habits because you deserve it or because you're tired or because you don't see it's working. You have to stay committed. You have to stay consistent. And that, uh, that knowledge is going to keep you going. It's going to keep you strong. Just repeat that mantra in your head. It's your motto. It's your catchphrase now. So use it to the best of your ability. And for further clarity on developing this mantra, I want you to go over to Soul's channel now. Her video is linked in the description box below. So just click on it there and she will help you to further clarify this mantra and how to be an energetic match to that mantra so you always know that it's being drawn into you. It's always coming to you and it is right there for you. So. Good luck you guys, enjoy Soul's video, and I will catch all you goal catchers next time.